Hello all, welcome to our new session on understanding MITRE ATT and CK matrix. This is very important matrix that is used by many organizations nowadays to detect cyber attacks proactively and also enable workflow automation. In this session, we will understand MITRE attack matrix, we'll learn about MITRE organization, we'll understand ATT and CK in detail, along with types of matrices, goal of this matrix, its framework, how to use ATT and CK matrix, differences between pre-ATT and CK and ATT and CK enterprise, and how to use it at an organization level. Let's get started. MITRE ATT&CK matrix is a globally accessible knowledge base of adversary tactics and techniques, based on real-world observations of cyber attacks. They're displayed in matrices that are arranged by attack stages, from initial system access to data theft or machine control. There are matrices for common desktop platforms, like Linux, Mac OS, and Windows, as well as mobile platforms. The term ATT and CK stands for Adversarial Tactics, Techniques, and Common Knowledge. Let's break this down. Coming to MITRE. MITRE is a government-funded research organization based in the United States. The company was spun out of MIT in 1958 and has been involved in a range of commercial and top-secret projects for a range of agencies. These included the development of the FAA Air Traffic Control System and the AWACS Airborne Radar System. MITRE has a substantial cybersecurity practice funded by the National Institute of Standards and Technology. Let's understand ATT and CK part in detail. It stands for Adversarial Tactics, Techniques, and Common Knowledge. The double T that is tactics and techniques, is a modern way of looking at cyber attacks. Rather than looking at the results of an attack, also known as an indicator of compromise, security analysts should look at the tactics and techniques that indicate an attack is in progress. Tactics are the why of an attack technique. Techniques represent how an adversary achieves a tactical objective by performing an action. The letter C and K stands for common knowledge, that is the documented use of tactics and techniques by adversaries. Essentially, common knowledge is the documentation of procedures. Those familiar with cybersecurity may be familiar with the term tactics, techniques, and procedures, or TTP. Let's understand different types of matrices. MITRE has a TT and CK broken out into a few different matrices. That is, enterprise, mobile, and pre-attack. Each of these matrices contains various tactics and techniques associated with that matrix's subject matter. The enterprise matrix is made of techniques and tactics that apply to Windows, Linux, and Mac OS systems. Mobile contains tactics and techniques that apply to mobile devices. Pre-attack contains tactics and techniques related to what attackers do before they try to exploit a particular target network or system. Here is a snapshot of the MITRE matrix. You can download or view more details on their website. This helps us identify kill chains and help us block those exposed or weak paths in our network. Well, how to use MITRE ATT&CK matrix. The MITRE ATT&CK matrix visually arranges all known tactics and techniques into an easy-to-understand format. Attack tactics are shown across the top, and individual techniques are listed down each column. An attack sequence would involve at least one technique per tactic, and a completed attack sequence would be built by moving from left, that is initial access, to right, which is command and control. It is possible for multiple techniques to be used for one tactic. For example, an attacker might try both an attachment and a link in a spear phishing exploit. It's not necessary for an attacker to use all 11 tactics across the top of the matrix. Rather, the attacker will use the minimum number of tactics to achieve their objective, as it's more efficient and provides less chance of discovery. In the attack shown above, the adversary performs initial access to the credentials of the CEO's administrative assistant using a spear phishing link delivered in an email. Once they have the admin's credentials, the attacker will look for a remote system in the discovery stage. On this slide we have listed the difference between pre-attack and attack matrix. The steps of pre-attack tactics are listed on the left side and the steps of enterprise attack tactics are listed on right side. It has been listed side by side to provide a comparison. You can keep a screenshot of this for future reference. Up next, 
Let's see how we can use MITRE ATTACK MATRIX. It helps with adversary emulation. Attack Matrix can be used to create adversary emulation scenarios to test and verify defenses against common adversary techniques. It also helps with red teaming. Attack Matrix can be used to create red team plans and organize operations to avoid certain defensive measures that may be in place within a network. It also helps with behavioral analytics development. Attack Matrix can be used to construct and test behavioral analytics to detect adversarial behavior within an environment. It is also used for defensive gap assessment. Attack Matrix can be used as a common behavior-focused adversary model to assess tools, monitoring, and mitigations of existing defenses within an organization's enterprise. Next is can be used for SOC maturity assessment. Attack matrix can be used as one measurement to determine how effective a SOC is at detecting, analyzing, and responding to intrusions. Lastly we have cyber threat intelligence enrichment. Attack matrix is useful for understanding and documenting adversary group profiles from a behavioral perspective that is agnostic of the tools the group may use. Hope the content was useful. Please subscribe to our channel to stay on top of all upcoming videos. Thank you.